Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. This is my first appearance in this channel for the new year. I am that guy on TikTok who's been telling you how to travel for free. So this is a detailed tutorial and I'm going to tell you everything flat out. And I'm going to tell you everything what I've mentioned on TikTok so far. This channel is called Yanni and Fabio because this is the channel of me and my boyfriend. When we went on our world tour, we had a full-time job, a 9-to-5 job, but we hated it. We had a depressing life <laughs> in Toronto. We were not saving. Rent was expensive. It skyrocketed. We were depressed. We were like, you know what? Let's quit everything. Yes, we quit everything and we set off to travel the world for a year. So how did we afford it when we quit a 9-to-5 job? A year prior, we travel hacked for a whole year. We dedicated a whole year to collect travel points. And we used those travel points to pay for our flights, hotels during our world tour. So let me start by answering the question, when should you start travel hacking? Now. Now is the great time because it takes a while to accumulate the points. When you apply for a credit card, it takes a few months for you to collect the points. I'm going to explain that later. Who is travel hacking for? Anybody who needs to travel for a very, very cheap price. What is travel hacking? Travel hacking, as I explained in my TikTok video, it's literally collecting miles, travel points, and use those points to pay for your hotel, flights, excursions, sometimes restaurants instead of paying cash. So the goal here is we're not pulling out cash from our pocket. As much as possible, we're gonna pay zero dollars to travel the world. Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is you need to go on Google and you need to type your country plus loyalty program. Google is gonna be your best friend in this process. There's a lot of resource on Google, use it. So after Googling, you should be able to find out that there's many loyalty programs available in US, Canada, UK, Australia. So this is very crucial what I'm about to tell you right now. After Googling, you need to figure out which loyalty program you need to stick with. So once you find different loyalty programs in your country, you need to start an Excel sheet. Excel sheets are very crucial in travel hacking because you're going to be juggling with different types of informations and files and your passwords and usernames. There's gonna, they're going to be everywhere. So that's step number one. Look for loyalty programs in your country. Step number two, go back on Google, search your country plus travel credit cards. You're going to find out that there's going to be a lot of bloggers talking about points, talking about travel hacking. So now Google should show you all different travel credit cards available in your country. What kind of credit cards are you looking for? You want to look for a credit card that you can transfer the points to your loyalty program of choice. So remember step one, step one, you were tasked to look for loyalty programs in your country on Google. Step two, look for a credit card that you can collect travel points that you can transfer to your loyalty program. So the idea is we're just going to keep on collecting points, literally. It is very crucial that you need to find a credit card that you can transfer the points to your loyalty program. Because there's so many credit cards out there that, yes, you can collect travel points, but they're somewhat less powerful. Those travel points could get you a one-night free stay hotel. Those travel points could only get you like an excursion, but not a flight. So make sure you look for a credit card that you can transfer the travel points in the credit card to your loyalty program. I'm going to show you the process how to do that later. Same idea with the loyalty programs. You need to start an Excel sheet as well to organize all your credit cards. So this is the list of all the credit cards that I signed up for. As you notice, I also have a column that says cancel date because we're not keeping these credit cards. We're not keeping these credit cards because once we accumulate the points, they're pretty much no good at all. It's time to move on to the next credit card to collect the points. That's the idea. With the idea here is just really to keep on collecting travel credit cards to collect the travel points so we can transfer that to our loyalty program and use that to book for flights. Do you kind of see the math here now? So this is really the fun part. This is the meat of the travel hacking. Trying to accumulate points as much as you can. And there's so many ways about it. Number one is through credit card, as I already mentioned. You need to go on Google, type your country, travel credit cards, and it should show you so many options if you're from a country that can travel hack. So now you figure out which credit card you're going to get. What are you going to do next? You need to apply for that credit card, get approved, make sure you're eligible, and then have it delivered to your house. Once you have the credit card in your hands, one thing you need to do is you need to read the manual that comes with the credit card because the manual contains the requirements on how to collect the points. So this is the catch. This is the only catch in this travel hacking system. Credit cards will just not give you the points just like that. There has to be something in return. For example, the American Express Gold credit card. You will get 25,000 travel points once you spend 1,500 within three months. So you kind of... So you kind of have to wrap your head around it that, oh shit, within three months, I have to spend 
1,500 to get my 25,000 travel points, right? This is called the spending requirement. The spending requirement is pretty much the requirement for you to get the points. What are you gonna do? So in this case, for example, for the American Express Gold Credit Card, you will get 25,000 points if you spend 1,500 within three months. So how do you meet the minimum spending requirements? As I mentioned in the TikTok video, once you receive the card, you need to pull out your list of expenses. Go through each one of them and then go on your computer and make sure you change the automatic credit card payment you have in that account. For example, your internet. Go to your internet provider webpage, change the authorized payment, throw all the expenses as much as you can to your new credit card, to be able to meet the minimum spending requirements right away. When you're shopping for Amazon, make sure you use the credit card so that you meet the minimum spending requirements quickly. So what other ways can you do to meet the minimum spending requirements? <laughs> so literally, so we were literally travel hacking on crack because we were set to go on a road tour in six months and we still didn't have enough points for hotels and everything. All the flights are booked already, but we just wanted to have more points for extra expenses, you know? Sometimes you will find credit cards that have very high spending requirements, but a very, very high travel points in return. For example, my American Express Platinum Business credit card. I think the requirement for that one is I needed to spend $7,000 to be able to get the travel points. $7,000, me, jobless. <laughs> So how did I do it? I literally offered for every single friend's dinner, restaurant bill. I offered for my dad to pay for his internet at his house and he will just pay me back e-transfer. And the basic things like, you know, changing all my authorized payments on my Apple Pay, Amazon. I keep on using the card as much as I can. Also, you need to keep in mind each card has a spending power. I mentioned this in my TikTok as well. Spending power is, this is why it's very crucial. You need to read the card and its perks and benefits because each card has its benefits. For example, you will find a card that has a spending power of double the points if you use it for dining, restaurants, travel, gas, and groceries. So now your job is to organize the credit cards and you will have a column on your Excel sheet that says, what is the spending requirement? Because you need to keep that in mind. Every time you go out to eat, Every time you order a food at a restaurant, you always have to pull out the card that has the spending requirements that will give you double or three, three times the point when you use the card to spend at a restaurant. Those are some of my tips on how to accumulate points faster. The last one is go to shopping portals. What are shopping portals? Shopping portals are e-stores, electronic stores affiliated with all the airlines. What does that mean? Go on Google right now and type an airline plus e-store. You will be shocked. Just look at all these points, opportunities that you are missing on. I'm sure everybody is shopping online right now. So look at all these. Dyson, five times the points. Sephora, two times the points. So these are the things and how to earn points. This is, like I said, this is the meat of the travel hacking. This is pretty much what travel hacking is. You just really, really have to earn points. So that's pretty much what I've talked about so far on my TikTok. That's literally all the details. Like this is just the first part of this tutorial. I'm gonna make a part two video where I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with all these points that we already accumulated. After doing all those steps that I told you in this video, in the next video, I'm gonna show you what are we gonna do with all the points that we already accumulated. How are we gonna use the points to book five different flights for a price of $500 or $600? Or in our case, how did we pay $1,000 only, and we were able to go to 20 different cities and 10 different countries. It's a whole strategy as well. I think it's a whole different video because it's just a whole different idea. So just to summarize everything, step one, go on Google, look for loyalty programs in your country. Step two, look for credit cards that you can accumulate travel points that you can then transfer to that loyalty program. Once you figure out that loyalty program, stick to that loyalty program and just keep dumping points into that loyalty program using the steps that I told you in step number three on how to collect points. That's really it. So stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna show you how to use the points to book, to book five different flights for $500 or 600 or 400. I don't know how much the surcharges and taxes or gas for airlines. But that's pretty much it. Comment below your questions. I'm planning to do a live somewhere, maybe Instagram, follow me on Instagram, or maybe TikTok or YouTube. I haven't decided yet. Maybe TikTok because that's where most of you guys are from. 
I plan to do a live, like literally maybe an hour live where I'm going to just sit down and then you guys are going to type your questions. I'm going to answer every single questions you have about this topic. But before you go to that live and ask questions, watch this video first because I'm sure I've answered most of your question already. I hope I did. Don't forget Google is a very good resource.